I want a new phone case, so in this video I will show you how to print flexible TPU filament. Come and join me! Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So recently I wanted a new phone case for my iPhone and I had the idea of printing one using flexible TPU filament. However, it turned out that this is not a really straightforward process and new tweaks and settings need to be done to make printing TPU on the ANIT A8 a reliable endeavor. And the material used in this video is the Sunlu TPU from the link in the description. All the settings have been adjusted for this kind of material. I've also included my Cura profile below. So what makes TPU different from PLA? First of all, it's flexible compared to PLA of course and zero printed objects are bendable. And what's better than printing banshees? Well, it's actually printing flexible banshees. Here we need to tweak the print settings a little bit more for reducing the stringing. So maybe using a little more retract can fix the problem. But the TPU material also requires different printing temperatures. For this brand of material the best nozzle temperature seems 225 degrees Celsius. Around 25 degrees higher than for PLA. I tried different temperatures and went up to 235 degrees, but that resulted in the TPU to get harder, lose some of its flex and also lost of its glossiness, which is normally a, a nice finish. I'm also using the heated bed at around 60 degrees. Let's talk about print speed. This is another aspect that makes printing TPU a bit of a bummer. You really have to print very slow, around 20 to 25 mm per second, which is one third of the speed that I would consider the lowest speed to print on the ANIT A8 with PLA. So it really takes a lot more time to print with TPU. Uh, let's quickly imagine that you don't have the extruder fan hinge and still have everything mounted with screws. You would actually not see that there is a problem until everything completely wraps around the gears and the motor stops working. Uh, not such a good idea. So better get this hinge upgrade first done before printing TPU. The link to my video explaining the installation is up here. Then I realized that uh, still the extruder has some issues pushing the TPU into the throat because there is quite a gap between the gear and the upper throat end. Sometimes the TPU already starts to use that little gap to bend out of the ideal perpendicular path to the throat. But thanks to Leo again, there's a solution for that problem. The extruder filament guide. It's not only required for TPU, but it's actually helpful for any kind of filament to make it easier to guide the filament into the throat. Be it during printing, but also during the filament change. Print out the mod and drill the filament guide hole with a 2mm drill. Also drill the mounting hole with a 3mm drill. I found that using a 2mm drill leaves the guide hole really tight and if it's not perfectly above the throat opening it actually makes it harder to insert the filament. Also it can cause additional friction to the filament which led in my case to the filament getting stuck during a print. So this is something to avoid by drilling the hole just a little bit larger with maybe a 2.5 mm drill. Mounting the guide is actually easy, just to release the two screws that hold your extruder motor against the cooling block. Then take out the spring, release the screw nut from the distance screw and put the modification over the distance screw. Then put the nut back on, tighten it and remount the extruder motor. Now we should adjust our slicer settings for TPU printing. Set the print speed to 25 mm per second. Thank you. 
the bad temperature to 60 degrees. And the nozzle temperature to 225 degrees. That should be your starting point to test your first TPU print. So now I can finally print my new phone case. Hooray! Actually, I found it much easier to peel off the phone case from the Biltex surface when the bed was heated to 60 degrees Celsius. When it was cold after printing, it was almost impossible to get it off. So definitely I'm gonna check out different print surfaces for TPU. So let's check out if it fits on my phone. Oh nice, I like it very much. But uh, something is actually missing. Ah, that's much better. I like it. By the way, I'm going to make a whole series on how to customize parts in Fusion 360. So stay tuned for that series coming up soon. That's it for today. If you appreciate this video, please smash the like button, consider subscribing to my channel and also ring the bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.